Just as series has an apply method for applying some function to each element in a series, data frame has an apply method that lets you apply a function to each row or column in a data frame. In this video, we'll see how and when to use it. We'll start by making a very simple three row, two column data frame called DF. Data frame's apply method has two primary arguments, func and axis. Func tells apply what function to use, and axis tells apply whether to apply the function along axis zero, the row axis, or along axis one, the column axis. For example, if we call df.apply open parens func equals np.sum axis equals zero, we get back a two element series that's the result of calling np.sum on each column of df. If we do the same thing with axis equals one, we get back a three element series that's the result of calling np.sum on each row of df. Now suppose we have a data frame called kids, like this one with mixed column types. And our goal is to determine whether each child should be allowed in a haunted house. The rules for getting in the house are, you have to be at least 12, or you need to have adult supervision. For tasks like these, apply works great. In this case, we'll start by making a function called isAllowed that inputs age, a number, and with adult, a boolean, and returns a boolean indicating whether the kid is allowed to enter the haunted house. Now we'll call kids.apply passing in our function is allowed and axis equals one because we want the function to be applied on a row by row basis. Of course, this won't work because we haven't told pandas what values for each row to use for the arguments of our function. In fact, it's not even clear what's being passed into our function. To understand apply with axis equals one, let's pick out the first row of our data frame, which we can do with row underscore zero equals kids.iloc square brackets zero. What we get back is a series. Now, you might remember me saying you can't have a series of mixed types. So how do we have a series with a string, an int, and a boolean? The answer is we don't. We actually have a series of pointers, i.e. memory addresses. That's why the dtype is reported as object, because even though every pointer in the series is technically just an integer, what it points to could be any type of object in memory. In any case, this series is exactly what the apply method uses for the function input. So let's modify our function to expect and operate on this type of input. And now the same kids.apply call we made earlier works. But let's not do that because it ruins a perfectly clean and generic is allowed function. Instead, let's use a lambda function as a bridge between the series input and our original is allowed function. We'll start by reverting our isAllowed function back to what it was. And then we'll say kids.apply and pass in lambda row colon isAllowed parens row.loc age comma row.loc with adult. In this case, we're using lambda as a wrapper for our isAllowed function. Tacking that onto our kids data frame, we can see exactly who's allowed in our haunted house and who's not. Sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy. 